I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. Welcome to Queer Kids Stuff. Today we're talking about what it means to be asexual. We all are part of one big family. Gay means happy. Queer Kids Stuff. You are enough here at Queer Kids Stuff. Welcome to another episode in our series on the LGBTs. You ready, Teddy? Ready. Okay. Today we're looking at the A in LGBTQIA. A stands for... Asexual! Teddy, you're getting really good at your LGBTs. I'm so glad you're teaching me all this stuff, Lindsay. I'm having so much fun. I'm having a ton of fun too, Teddy. Before we get started, I have a question for you. What is it, Lindsay? Have you ever seen your parents kiss each other? Yeah. Why do you think they do that? Because they're grown up. Yes, that's true. Any other reason? Um... Maybe because they love each other? Oh, yeah. Sometimes when two adults love each other romantically, they like to express that love by kissing. They might also hold hands or hug. I'm confused. My parents kiss me and hug me and hold my hand, but they don't love me like that. They're still showing you they love you, but love between parents and kids is very different from love between adults in a relationship. There are lots of different kinds of love. Today we're mostly talking about romantic love between adults. Does that make sense? Yeah, but what does that have to do with being asexual? I was just about to get to that. I'm going to bring in my friend Elisa, who is going to help me explain asexuality. More friends? More cool words? Definitely. <laughs> hey, Lindsay! Hey, Teddy! Hello! Hello. Elisa, I need a little help explaining what asexual means to Teddy. Can you help me out? Sure thing! I have two questions first. Can you answer them, please? Sure, Teddy. What would you like to ask me? What are your pronouns and how do you identify? I use she, her, and hers, and I identify as asexual, queer, and cisgender. Thank you. Okay, now tell me what asexual is. Please. Go for it, Elisa. Okay, you went over the kissing stuff already, right, Lindsay? Sure did. Okay, explaining what asexual means is pretty simple then. Being asexual is when adults love each other romantically, but they don't want to express those feelings through something like kissing or other ways of expressing love physically. There are lots of different ways a person can be asexual, but it usually has to do with the ways people want to physically express their romantic love for other people. Kissing is one way people physically express their love for each other. People express their love with words, too. Like when your parents say, I love you to each other? Exactly. That's the difference between expressing your love physically through something like kissing or verbally through words. Some asexual people actually like to kiss but don't like other physical expressions of love. There are actually a lot of different ways to be asexual. We call this a spectrum. What are other ways to physically express love? Well, Teddy, that's a whole other topic that we're going to save for later. Is that okay with you? But I want to know. Teddy, sometimes we have to be a little bit patient when we're learning things. I know that waiting can be frustrating sometimes. I guess I can be patient. Thank you, Teddy. Let's get back on track. So, Elisa, asexual is uh, sexuality, right? That's right. Teddy, have you ever wanted to kiss someone romantically? No! Kissing is for grown-ups! Teddy, do you think you might be asexual? Does that sound right to you? Actually, yeah! I think I might be asexual. And that's something that can also change as you get older. Okay, I get it. So, I could be asexual right now, but identify as gay or straight or bisexual or lesbian or asexual when I'm older? Exactly. exactly. I just added something to my identity. Whenever people ask my pronouns, I say they. And now when they ask my identity, I can say asexual. That is totally right, Teddy. 
I'm very excited for you, Teddy. I gotta head out now, but it was great being here. Thanks so much for coming, Elisa, and helping us out today. No problem. Bye. 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 Thank you so much for watching Queer Kid Stuff. If you have any questions about what asexual means, you can always ask your grown up. A huge thanks to Elisa for helping us out with asexual and to our supporters on Patreon for supporting our videos. You can subscribe to the channel for new season two videos every other Wednesday. Next episode is going to be on consent. From me and Teddy, we'll see you next time at Queer Kid Stuff. <laughs>